What is up, Geometry Dash gamers? A lot of you may remember seeing the Rating Your Icons video I did a few months ago. You guys really loved that video and wanted a sequel, so you might as well call me the mailman because I always deliver. Welcome to Rating Your Icons Part 2. Before we start the video, shout out to Real Chips Go Crunch who said I broke my toe a week ago. Remember to comment hashtag AZ Army for a chance to get a shout out in my next upload. Now let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right, first up we have Yoil Metalberry. This icon looks sleep deprived. And this ship looks like it's really hungry. That's kind of a weird combination. I'll give you a three out of 10. Next up we have Matthew 99990. Um. These kind of look generic, to be honest. Like, if they had the creator point UFO, this would be the most two creator points icon set I've ever seen. I'll give it a six. Next we have Swift. Lemon cake icon. But with a weird color scheme. I don't know why you put a gradient icon with non-gradient other icons, but you know. I guess you just have bad taste. 2 out of 10. Next we have Afonsd. Afonsd has a weird cube, not gonna lie. I, it does not fit the rest of the icons. And just the default spider for no reason. I'm giving this a 5. Next we have Zephy. He uses my ship. 10 out of 10. Next we have Spokey. Uh, Spokey's icons kind of look like your typical demon grinder, to be honest. Maybe it's just that UFO. I don't know. The, gr the color choice is pretty good, not gonna lie. I'll give this an 8. Next we have Platinum Turret. Uh, th these are- these are pretty much noob icons, to be honest. Noob out of 10. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Next we have WL9, the colon icon, and the colon wave, and the not colon everything else. I'll give this a not colon out of 10. I love GD Cologne. Next we have Mecha Brain. Mecha Brain's a legend, but his icons kinda suck, not gonna lie. 3 out of 10. Next up we have Loxum, the banana bread man. Loxum's cube and this color scheme are pretty iconic, not gonna lie. At least if you're a daily chatter. Uh, everybody else will probably not know who Loxum is. Loxum's icons are actually pretty clean. Uh, I'll give Loxum a 9, 9 out of 10. Next we have Sventeen17. These are pretty terrible colors, not gonna lie. Booger green and white. But the icons themselves are pretty clean. I'll give you a five. Next we have Pat the Cat 80. Cat icon. Next we have the Memer Boy New. Uh, these are also pretty generic icons, not gonna lie. Except that ship, that ship is weird. I'll give you a four. Next we have Indomar Shadows. Marshadow's icons are interesting, except I don't know why he uses this robot, considering how bad it looks with those colors. Every icon here has a gradient, except the robot. Like, what were you thinking? Like, besides the robot, I'll give this a 7 out of 10, but that robot gets a 0. Next we have Liberia. Liberia the goat. Liberia's icons are not goat. They suck. 2 out of 10. Next up we have Mitchifying. Mitchifying's icons are actually pretty clean, but I don't really like this wave. And the cube honestly kind of clashes with the rest of them. I'll give you a 4.5. Next we have Kylo Boppy Apps 139. These icons are kind of garbage. These are like GD World icons, dude. GD World out of 10. Next we have David is French. This is the snail icon. It means he's an enemy of AZ Army. 
rest of his icons are okay, I'll give you a 6. Next we have Fanku 4. Cat icon. Next we have Endow 820. Uses the Crackhead cube. Crackhead out of 10. Next we have Redstone Temi GD. I like the colors, but not a lot. I'll give this a 5. Next we have Jexamania, who told me I stink. So I'll give you a you stink out of 10. Now that was just mean. Next we have Mr. Noob 1305. Mr. Noob's icons are surprisingly clean actually. I think it's a 7. Next we have Poe 911. It's named after the Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda out of 10. Oh! Next we have Slimer. Cat icon again. Except Slimer sucks. So I'll give you a Slimer sucks out of 10. Next we have Drive in Orange. He is definitely orange. Orange out of 10. Next we have Dash Master. He uses my ship. 10 out of 10. Next we have 828382. Uh, this looks like Discount Tried. Discount tried out of 10. Next we have Ace Victorium. This looks like a creator point farmer, but with no creator points. I'll give you a get a life out of 10. According to Wikipedia, you need to get a life. Next we have Secret Agent M7. Uh, again, why would you use black with no gradients? That just ruins everything, dude. 3 out of 10. Next we have Jax235, cat icon. Next we have Scarf the Neko. Scarf looks like Bloodbath had a child and that child was a generic level creator. Three out of 10. Next we have the Funky Octopus. Funky specifically asked me to put him in this video so that he could flex on his friends in real life. So I'm doing that. Flex on your friends out of 10. Next we have Pro Piggy. These are based icons, I can tell you that for a fact. Amazing color choice, decent cube, goes with the colors very well. Amazing ship, great ball, based UFO, default wave is always a good choice, decent robot, and an amazing spider. 11 out of 10. Next we have GD Semicolon 554. This looks like if SD Slayer had an affair with Dorami, and then that child was adopted by Colin. That's all for today, everybody. If you want, rate my icons in the comments below, and remember to comment hashtag AZArmy for a chance to get a shout out in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.